guys, welcome back to my channel. I got a crazy puppy here right now, and he's gonna attempt to help me with this thrift haul. Say hi, say hi. <laughs> got back from the thrift store. My favorite thrift store had a dollar day sale. It's like every Tuesday and Wednesday is their dollar day, I believe. So I went, I only found a couple things for a dollar, but I did find some other great stuff. They are re really reasonably priced. So I go there quite often, not just on dollar day, but I do try to get down there on dollar day as well. You guys, he's gonna be crazy the whole video. So hopefully I can, uh, can show you what I got. So I got two bags of things. And I spent $24.79. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items. So it's like $2 an item, basically. Which isn't bad. Well, we're just gonna check all this stuff out while I pull it out. But I'm gonna pull all the tags off while I'm doing this as well. Okay, so this is a. Romeo and Juliet Couture little cardigan. This is what the tag looks like. It's got these like little fuzzy balls on it and it's pretty long. It's got a bell-ish sleeve. It's super, super cute, great for fall. Um, re I'm really trying to pick up some, lots of sweaters so that I have uh, lots of winter stuff stocked in my closet. It's super cute, like I said, it's got the all details and it has lace around the collar as well really cute no go get your squeaky this is mom's he has to smell it all so these are a pair of seven for all mankind jeans they are a dark really really dark wash um, I would call this a straight leg. It's not really skinny. Yeah, straight leg. They are a size 14. There you go. And then here is the Seth All Mankind label. Where is it? There it is. No biting. Go get your squeaky. No, move over. He's biting my hands and we have tried really hard to get him to stop biting, but he doesn't uh, get it, so. Okay, got another pair of jeans. So we're looking for sweaters, jeans, jackets, things like that, long sleeve shirts. Okay, can I show it? So these are some page size 28. Here's that. They are just a wide leg, got a little bit of distressing on the knee, darker wash, plain pockets, really cute, very simple. They're really, really soft, almost like a worn in denim, but they're like new. So that's Cool. I really loved this sweater. Now, I feel like Splendid is like kind of like a hit or miss. Um, but I really liked this sweater. Thought it was cute with the different blues, the open crochet on it. Okay, smell it, Wilby. Wilby's got to check it out. And it's a size small. That is what the tag looks like. I personally love Splendid. I um, got a shirt from them for myself. I've had this, so I had this shirt in red and I wasn't gonna sell it after I tried it on. It was so cute and then I decided, so I decided I wasn't gonna sell it and I didn't take the listing down and it sold. So I was kind of sad. And then last week I found this same sweater in like a darker gray color, I mean a lighter gray color. And then I just found it in a dark gray. 
So I believe it's a cowl neck, but I like to wear it like off the shoulder like this. But it is like a waffle knit. It is super cute. So I'm probably gonna sell the lighter gray one because I don't have any darker gray long sleeve shirts. And I really, really, really love this. I mean, I've had three of them now, so. <laughs> this is a Free People little sweater. Here is the Free People tag. So it looks like this. Got a keyhole in the back with this little bow button. It's so cute. Here's the back of it. I think it's so cute. And then I got another free people item. Oh, and that was a small, this one is an extra small. Here is the tag. And it's just a basic long sleeve with a button front. And it has the like crocheted embroidered sleeve. So super cute. This will probably be like a $15 item in my closet. I always find a lot of free people in anthropology at that thrift store, which is really cool because their prices are super cheap. So this didn't have a tag on it. Um, it was a dollar and I really liked it. So I might keep it for myself. I might sell it. This is what it looks like. It's just a long gray cardigan. It had, I saw that it had this symbol on it. And then I was like looking for a tag, but the button says Eddie Bauer. So it doesn't have, I don't know if you're able to see that. It doesn't have a size tag or anything like that. Um, or a like fabric content tag. And I think it's a men's just by looking at it, but Honestly, like it'd just be really cute as an oversized sweater. Yeah, there's absolutely no tag on the inside. So that's kind of strange. But yeah, so that is my haul. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items from that thrift store today. And then I went to a different thrift store a couple days ago and I found this Free People shirt. This is listed in my closet right now. Here is the, where is it at? Here's a Free People tag. It doesn't have a um, size tag, so I do have to put in measurements, um, but it, I tried it on. It fits like a small. And then it buttons up the back. So that was cute. And then I found this little hooded Banana Republic size large little hoodie, hoodie gray sweater. Really, really cute. I liked that. Now, um, a lot of people aren't picking up any old tag, cabby tag items, like the old label. Um, this one was new with tags. It's a blazer. And I looked up at comps and they go for like 30. So here's the tag. It is a 14. It still has like the spare button. It's got the size tag on it. It's got this tag. So it is super cute. Like the, I'll show you. It's got like detailing stitching. I think that's so cute. The lining inside is really cute. It's a button front, has fake pockets, but, oh no, no, yeah, it is fake. These are fake pockets, but it's still really cute. So that is everything. So I will be listing all these things in the next couple of days. So if you guys are interested in any of these items, I will leave my store link down below so you guys can visit my closet you guys can make any offers on the items and um, we can definitely make a deal for you. 
So leave a comment below if you have any questions in regards to my haul or just any Poshmark thrifting questions in general. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Bye guys.